Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Psalms devotional. And sorry for not coming back for a bit because life was very busy and I was just doing a little bit of studying in theology and going to conferences to learn how to be more like Christ. So um, one of the crucial things to be more like Christ is pray and continue in studying of him. So let's pray to him first. Holy Father, we just thank you for the day. Thank you for you giving up your son on a cross. May your name be hallowed in us that we might honor you in everything we do that we will glorify you and help us to fill us with the Holy Spirit as we can't do this without you. And especially fill me to speak your words and understand you more through this. And Lord, I just, I'm just so grateful that you gave us Bible, that we can study you. We can study your words and be filled and be growing in the grace of the Lord. And I just thank you. I just ask that you would strengthen us with your grace. And I just ask that you would continue Help us to focus on you on the cross to encourage one another so that your will may be done and we'll rely on you to do your will in First Thessalonians 4 and 5 and also many other places that we would pray and seasonally give thanks to all men, um, especially give thanks to what you have done, as well as abhor and abstain from any Gentile lust, sexual immorality in all things and keep our mouth and everything clean without corruption and set our eyes with covenant set our body members with you and may your kingdom come through this and through all the efforts in ukraine and all around we know brothers and sisters are suffering from second or third class country help them provide for them physically and spiritually help shima help all these iranian women that they might escape from being arranged marriage Muslim and uh, but be knowing that they're married to you Jesus Christ knowing that Lord you, you provide all and let them know this and have comfort today for all the women for Iran and Ukraine and help the men to fight um, lust or physically and help us in a first country first to appreciate what you have done on a cross and hug the cross and say, Lord, how much I love that old crooked cross and, and I'll carry it, deny myself. Help us today, help us Lord, to manifest your name to the pagans and give us today what we need. And lead us not into temptation so that we might not be put to shame so that we might be representatives and imitators of Christ today in our thought, speech, and action. Help us to love genuinely, love you, and love our neighbor today. Confess I don't do that as well. But I just need your grace, because only with you I can do it. Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay. Um, so we are, last time we were at Psalm 11. Put a bookmark here. It was Psalm 12, actually. Sorry. Psalm 12. It was a long time ago. It was about probably a few weeks ago. But um, we study Psalm 12 uh, on regarding on help, Lord, right? Help, Lord. The Lord is our help. And this completely ties into Psalm 11, where David was asking for help. And in Psalm 12, the Lord was asking that um, they needed help and so uh, as we go through Psalm 12, um, we look at save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, or you know, in other version, it might say, help, Lord, right? And, um, you know, we can go to any versions. Help, Lord, for the godly man sees it. For faithful fail from among the children of men. And that's like my testament, right? I fail many times in my life. But 
only when I abide in Christ, I won't fail. Right? But Satan, his power is very strong. And we need to be continuing prayer. That's why God's will in First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 20. Right? One trick pony, huh? That's, <laughs> that's, that's just what I got, you know? Um, 16 through 20, it said, Pray and cease and give thanks without ceasing and rejoice, right? Rejoice in the Lord that he hath died on the cross and given us the same sacrifice that we can never provide. And knowing the fact that he has a good plan for our life, that we pray for it, that we, knowing that he hears prayer, that knowing that he answers prayer, we go ahead and pray with boldness by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we give thanks in everything. This is the will of God and Jesus concerning you. Um, right, quench no spirit despite no prophesying, right? Every time there's a preaching, you you be discerning in your spirit, but don't despise it. Do not judge brothers according to flesh. Many things, right? How do we do all things? Help God, right? Help, O oh Lord. That's the only way that we can do all these things by asking our Lord Elohim, Lord Jesus Christ, to help, to help. It's a short sweet and suggestive and seasonable and serviceable prayer a kind of angel sword to be turned every way to be used in all occasion the psalmist see extreme danger extreme danger to see in his position like every day are you and I, right, aware of the things around around us that, that could cause us to sin? YouTube, media, advertisement, co-worker, right? Lust of the eyes, pride of life that is innate in us. Satan wants to be ignorant of those things, right? And and continue in things that are ungodly. But if if we are continue in prayer as First Thessalonians 5, 16 commands us to do, and we follow that, we should be in watchfulness. We should be in our tower, right? It's, it's just as First Peter 4, it said the same thing, right? And, and this is just around Psalm 12 is our major text. And as we go for right here, before end of all things is a hand be therefore sober and watch unto prayer what do you mean watch unto prayer well let's look at uh what an ancient image of a watchtower person okay okay watchtower person okay like someone stand here right for gun or something right and and a tower okay and um right he looks out for enemy and and he spotted, he reports and shoot them down. Right. Right. So that has to be us. We have to be always on guard because Christ tells us to watch to pray, right? And we have to be always praying, rejoicing, Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for giving me provision, money. Thank you for giving me a job. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you for giving us oxygen. Thank you for giving us food. Thank you for giving us companion. Thank you for giving us all things that you have given us, like books, you know, Mr. Spurgeon's knowledge got passed on. And, you know, but most importantly, your words, Bible, get passed on by godly men and faithful men. And thank you for giving us encouragement words to and continue and trust the gospel to faithful men, to continue to spread love and share the gospel and continue to be holy and pure and not lusting and having agape love. This is what we need. This is what the world needs. This is what kind of man Jesus is. He's pursuing love actively. Even he loved the sinners. He loved Zacchaeus. He loved Matthew, even their tax collectors, they're rich. No one wants to talk to them, right? Even Jesus loves some of the drug dealers that repented, right? I know some of them, right? There was a drug cartel, right? And and he had like a wife and few kids. And then he kept doing the business because he had to do it. But the Lord 
picked him out and say, that's wrong. You go back to church and listen to sermon and repent, right? So he listened to a prophecy and he repented. And then he's one of the Christians that are most, most excited about the Lord um, in this region. Okay, so the major thing is that uh, we need to focus on how do we pray and watch and ask help, Lord? We have to be strong in the grace, right? Second Timothy 1, how do we be, be continue in prayer is tying into how strong we are realizing Jesus' grace that we can pray. Imagine this is an analogy, okay? So imagine you have a ticket, okay? Your ticket, you can eat all you can eat at the whatever house, you know, Hickory House, whatever, you know, your, name your favorite restaurant. And you, you, you put it in a pocket, you put it in a wallet, right? And you just go to work. And if you hide it in the inner parts of your wallet, right, what's going to happen? Right, you're going to forget about it as time goes on. And is that you with the grace of Christ? Are you remembering that if you believe in Christ that died for you and risen because Christ did come, right? That's why there's busy there. That's why there's AC, right? B, C, B, C, and A, C. What does it mean? That's like the before Christ, after Christ, that's like the historical timing, right? That's, that's even the scientific world realized like how important Jesus is, that they named time before Christ and after death. His death, what is that for? Well, his coming, what is that for? His coming is to testify Malachi 3, right? Malachi 3 said, Malachi 3, 1, okay? He came. And there will be a messenger preparing the way before him. Messenger of the covenant, which you desire, will come. Who is the messenger of the covenant? And what's the covenant? The covenant is mentioned in Isaiah. Right? Isaiah talking about there will be a servant of God. Right? Isaiah 50. Right. There will be a servant coming by scorning, but he will be scorned. He will be, he will be took up our pain and bore our suffering. And yet we consider him punished by God, stricken by him. Okay. This is the, who hath believed our message. He grew up like a tender shoot. He have no beauty attract. He was despised and rejected by mankind. That was Jesus Christ right? That was Jesus Christ mentioned in John 18, right? Jesus finished praying. They went through over the Kidron Valley and geographically the Kidron Valley was a valley of darkness. All the sacrificial blood that were killed in the ceremonies were flown down the Kidron Valley and all the forsaken idols, they're, they're just, you know, dumped in the Kidron Valley. It's a valley of darkness, right? It's like a disposal landfill but even worse but jesus went through it right and he was he was arrested even he did nothing wrong he healed people on the sabbath he he you know continued to give people food he's just helping but people are carrying torches lanterns and weapons because they know who he is he is god right they drew back and fell into the ground. Like some, there's some 500 people over there. And, and those people fell and draw back on the ground. Jesus is God. Okay. And, and everyone knows it. Okay. So, and why does this matter to us praying and being watchful and asking help? Oh Lord, back to Psalm, you know, 12. Because we praise him. We, we know this wallet. In the wallet, we have this ticket to pray for Christ, to, to have the all out, pick out prayer time with Christ, right? right? Whatever, you know, you can eat all you want in the restaurant. It's like that, your favorite restaurant. Don't tell me you don't, you don't have one because you're, you'll be lying, you know? You know, or your mom's favorite dish, you know, she's, she keep making it. She, that's, uh, it's available anytime. And that should be us taking it out of wallet and redeeming every time and holding it tight 
right? And and if uh if it's a beggar that get get that ticket, that can go to a restaurant and eat all you can eat. What would he do? Right? He would probably be leaping around and say, Yeah, let's go, let's go eat. Right? And as he go eat, he get full. And he was grateful for this ticket. And the one who gave us a ticket, right? Jesus Christ died on the cross, gave us his righteousness, died on the cross so that the veil split in half, so that we don't have to be a priest, but we can pray to Christ. Um, for as a priest who died for us so that we can pray to the creator God who hates sin, who hates every single defilement of sin and we have sinned against him every day in our thoughts and hearts and we can't control it. We can't control it unless it, we let Christ come in, unless we let the heart of Christ and unless we say, help, O Lord, help me, right? The Lord shall cut off all flattering tip, lips and tongue and, and, you know, people speak vanity with his neighbor, flattering lips and double horde they speak, right? Workplace, people show you, you know, stuff on the phone that you sh is disgusting. It's out of the flesh, naked pictures. That's what they rejoice in. That's what those men rejoice in and, and they like, right? And what do we do? Help, oh Lord, help me. Cut off that image from my mind. Help me to walk a way worthy of the cross that you have given me. Help me to disciple young men. Help me to be loving to little kids. Help me to show your image. Right? That has to be us inside. If you're not on fire with the Lord, if you're caught, you know, good. If you're cold, good, you know. That's fine, right? Because if you consider Revelation um, free, right? Where, where either be hot or cold or the Lord will spit you out, right? That that location that the the church he was speaking to, okay. The church that he's speaking to, okay, Sardis. There there are springs, springs in Sardis. Okay, they're hot and cold springs. Right. There are there are thermal hot springs, okay, in Sardis, in city of Sardis, okay, and uh, there are heating stuff, okay. There there are heating system, okay, and there are cold mineral water, okay, very healthy cold mineral, like you know, cool water in uh, California hot day, you know, if Kazuki, you're watching this, or anyone from hot weather, right, Hong Kong or whatever, right? It's good. Being cold is actually could be good. Right, if God called you to be hot, to be like just preaching gospel and hot, go do it. But there's also a season of hot and a season of cold, right? And accept that, right? Coldness could be you are calm and collected. You are thinking all the time about future plans and goals. People are very excited about the Lord, and they might be think they might just, you know, it's not saying it's a bad thing, but sometimes they want to pull the trigger very quick before considering what their audience is, right? Let's say someone wants to go preach the church, right? Pray 24 hours. That's like me. I want to pray 24 hours. But have I considered what are the steps? What are small steps, right? Small steps that um, can lead to that. I can't because I was hot, right? I was hot in the temper, hot in the spirit. I haven't thought about that. I just want to do it, right? But if someone's cold, he would keep thinking about, okay, how can we do this in a long-term situation? How about we do a daily prayer meeting? Like Mr. Stephen Lee, he does it every 10 a.m. Very good, right? Our time. And he does it internationally, right? It, it, it's good to be cool and cold, but don't be lukewarm, right? Lukewarm is in the between. Oh, I read my Bible daily out of duty. Um, I don't really want to read it. Oh, I go to church, but I just live my life out on Sundays, right? So you have to be salty, right? There are mineral waters, right? Mineral water is cold, right? Cold water is good to drink, but is it good to drink cold sewage water or cold, clean mineral water, right? It, you have to be cold mineral water. You got to be salty 
so that you have the nutrition in your speech, right? Let your speech be seasoned with salt, right? That's what Jesus meant is that it's attractive. It's people want more of it, but it's out without corruption. Don't talk like the world without corruption, right? And as well as it's full of joy and grace that people want to hear more of what you say. People just want to keep hearing it, right? And I mean, I'm not seasoned with salt, but I just pray. That's my prayer that I'll, I'll be seasoned with salt, okay? Lord, yeah, Lord Jesus, help me to be seasoned with salt, to, um, to speak grace to you, uh, to others today and forever, future, until you come. Christ's name I pray, amen. And help every single one of us, right? That's that's our prayer, right? Every every prayers warrior's prayer is increase our faith and fill us with spirit. But anyway, going back to Psalm twelve, right? Psalm twelve, right? We talk we talk about hot and cold, and talk about the wallet, right? The the all you can eat ticket. And remember, Christ is always here. Here in our prayer, Christ is always here. To, to hear us saying, help Lord, and he will convey that to Yahweh, to Father. Because it's not our prayer that matters. It's Jesus Christ's prayer that matters. Right? And Jesus Christ will do if we pray according to his will. That's why you see this man still alive. Because I prayed on the snow mountain. I said, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Make me holy, if you will. And help me to teach young men to be self-controlled and be holy. But how do we do that? Ask every day, help Lord. Because every day lustful thoughts come in here and come from here. If I'm not careful, right? If I don't wear up the whole armor of God, if I don't, even though every day I have to put up an image of armor and, and sword, right? I have to know I'm fighting. I'm not worshiping that image. I have to fight with the sword, right? And I have to wear up the armor. Because if I don't remind myself that, I know how easy I'm just going to go naked on the battlefield. Wake up and then just go. Not reading my Bible, not bringing a sword, not chanting scripture in my heart, not singing psalms, right? Some may say, oh, that's too extreme. Well, go ask, go, go ask a Christian or a pastor, right? Whether they're saying psalms and, and reciting scripture in their heart when they're preaching and when they're walking in life. Ask more some of the godly men in your life. How are they setting boundary with women? How are they handling fighting pornography? How are they able to fend it off? That's setting boundaries. Setting boundaries and pray unceasingly. Right? So today's topic is just easy. Pray unceasingly. And knowing that the ticket we got, okay? The ticket you have in the wallet, all you can eat, that thing, right? From from Jesus, you can all you can pray is all you can pray. Imagine this. If you go back to the Old Testament, right? Um, I was doing Sunday school with, with the kids, right? And um, right, if you if you look at this, right, you need to build an altar, offer sacrifice every time you sin, and you need a priest. Okay, and an altar is like this. You build something in your backyard. Go go build it right now. It takes time, right? It takes time and it takes money, effort, and all that. It's on top of all that, God might not accept your sacrifice. God will not accept your sacrifice if you're trying to sacrifice a sacrifice for sin, for all your sins that you sin every day, that you're aggering and egging on God every day. He's, he sees our thoughts. Hello? So what shall we do now, right? What shall we do now, Mr. Ming? Right? We go back and we know that this altar is us, right? First Corinthians 3, right? The Lord will preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted, right? Look at Ukraine, look at China, look at all these places. People are suffering, people are distressed, right? And because there are tiny, vile men, right? There, there are vile men in the government that even though the government, you know, the president is trying to cast them out, they're still, they're still exalted, right? Because we can't know people's heart. 
even though the president is trying his best to cast it out because China, Chinese, they are president. They, they were casting out the, the corruptness and, and many people were cast out. But we can't know everyone's heart, right? We, we, we're not perfect. So there are some remained. And the wicked walked on every side and they trampled over men, right? And, and the godly ones say, oh, well, what do we do now, right? The Lord, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Where does this come from? Purified seven times, right? Malachi 2, right? To purify the sons of Levi. And you have wearied the Lord with your words. Everyone that doth evil is good in the sight of the Lord. That's what sometimes the godly people think. And he delight in them. Where is the God of judgment? Sometimes when you despair, you just think, why is those evil men, why are those evil men doing so good? The Lord is delighted with them. Therefore, I go sin like them. Then we, we lead by the lust, right? Right? Sons of Levi. He's going to refine the sons of Levi, right? The sons of the priest. So what does this mean to us? Okay, as the end, we, we'll warp it up. We need to pray. Help, Lord, every second. Nothing moves father like the price of his children. Remember this. Nothing cries. Move, nothing moves a father like the cries of the children. And the Lord said, I have adopted you. Right? Romans 8. And we cry, Abba, Father. Right? Right? We did not receive a bondage of fear, but we received a son adoption. And you need to cry out. You need to use that ticket that Jesus fights so hard against Satan, walked in the wilderness, 40 days fasting, not eating, washing sinners' feet, filling all the, fulfilling all the commandments in Old Testament. He said, I have not come to take away the law, one jot or one tittle. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Right? But Roman, Romans 7 said, we can't fulfill it. Romans 7. Right? We can't fulfill those law if we're relying on our flesh. If you didn't read your Bible, you didn't truly believe in Christ, you didn't pray earnestly and love him, walk with him, abide with him, pray every second you have when you're conscious, then you're going to sin. Right? Sin taken occasion by, by the commandment wrought in me all kinds of manners of concubines. And we are dead. We're killed dead by the law. We want to do good, but the law tells us what not to do, and we all go do the wrong thing. Right? When I think, of, oh, thou shalt not lust, thou shalt not look at woman lustfully, I want to go. My flesh wants to go look at it. What do you do? Christ, help me. Help me to follow your laws. I want to be holy. Help me not look at that woman. I want to be like more like you. If you're a father, you listen to a kid saying, Dad, I want to be more like you. Help me. Help me not to you know, keep bumping my head to the wall. Help me to learn how to play tennis. Help me to do this, do that. You're going to help. If that's your children, you're going to help. You can't stop by saying, oh, son, you're so adorable. Let me help you. That's me. That's, that's the father. That's, that's what he does, right? He promised in the word of God and we just have to believe in it. And that's how I overcome all my lust, all my struggles with pornography or whatever. That's how you do it. You pray, you pray earnestly and you pray in the name of Jesus and take off that ticket of salvation that he gave us to all you can eat prayer, all you can pray, right? It's a lot better than food in the world, right? Because Jesus said, you know, do not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone, by, but by every single word of God. So go pray the word of God now, right? And, and the easiest way to begin with is Matthew 
I think it's six. The Lord's Prayer, okay? Okay? Um, and it's hard to, for King James Version, I, I know. I know what you guys are thinking, okay? So, the Lord knows. I don't know, actually. So, um, forgive me, Lord. But pray like this, okay? Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. May, may you glorify your name in us. Your will be done as in heaven as on earth. That your will for us to abstain from the lust of the Gentiles, from people who don't know you, that, that you want us to walk holy, not, not in any lusting after woman or man. That you might help us, help us to deny ourselves, hug that cross, that nail, that, that those blood, those hard tasks in our life to love others and love you. Lord, I confess my heart is often cold if I'm not encouraged by others, if I'm not continuing in your word. Help me to be continually encouraged and using the sword, the sword of spirit, the scriptures to fight. Ten commandments, I shall not commit adultery. Ten commandments, I shall not covet. Lord, oftentimes I fail so much, and I just ask for your forgiveness. And let me not forgive myself just by praying this. Let me continue bear this heavy burden of the cross and the weight of the cross of Christ Jesus dying for me. <sighs> because I need to live like Christ. I need to live as an imitator of Christ, teaching a law in the temple. Exposing a work of darkness, casting out demons. I pray that you would expel all those satanic Buddha worshiping spirit from my co workers today, and that they would only worship you and they would do your will. And the same as every young man around the world, that they would forsake pornography and video games or cartoons, any idols. We come and follow you. The disciple who walk with someone three years, walking with them, talking with them. Help me to do that. Oh Lord, I need you so much. I need you so much. Help me. May your kingdom come through this effort of studying through the Psalms. Whoever is watching, strengthen them mightily. Let them know that, Lord Jesus, you're always here to pray with them. And knowing that I'm their ally, Lord. And Lord, encourage them. Strengthen them, knowing that they can believe in you and pray. And there's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because you died for our sins. Let those who are chosen by you not be beguiled by Satan, not be choked by the thorns of the world. I pray for all the single moms, pray for Ruth, pray for little Eli. Pray that you would continue to guide them to godliness, to holiness, to, to more joy in you. To not be in the world or media, to forsake all those media. They don't need it. They just need the Bible. And pray for someone to talk about the Bible like Christ, pure to them and Father, I just thank you for all the things that you've done for us. With Christ dying on the cross, is not that's not what we deserve. Have a Savior that has lived a perfect life, willing to exchange everything with us. Worthless dust. He's exchanging every of his good works to give to us, to be a Deuteronomy 28 or 32 curse to give all the blessing to us. He give all the blessings to us. Oh, you're too good. We need to be continue grateful to you and help the brothers in Ukraine and suffering that they will pray, they'll pray, they'll pray. Let them pray, Lord. Put your hand heavy on them so that they might bow down and pray and know, Lord, you die on the cross. Nothing else we need to do to come to you, but to acknowledge you. 
Think about your cross daily and carry and be grateful. Be that beggar that's grateful and always hungry, always hungry for more. Always hungry for more of your grace daily. And, and, and that's how we are rejoiced. That's why we are blessed. Because blessed be your poor in spirit. Blessed be the beggar that's never filled. Blessed be the beggar that's always grateful. Blessed be the beggar that are always asking for God's grace like me. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Help me to fight lust. Help me to fight covetousness. Help me to fight pride. Help me to fight all things. And, and fill me the Holy Spirit so that I might minister to people in the conference in Brazil soon. Help me, O oh Lord. Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, if you guys can pray, um, lately we might have um, lately we might have um, the church is starting a fund for me. Okay, so um, we we ask that you will pray for the support for that. Okay, and the Lord owns a thousand cow and will not worry. He will provide everything he needs. And I don't need you guys to provide. Don't don't do anything. Just just pray, okay. Just keep me in your prayer, and and don't provide anything. Don't, okay. So, just pray that God may fill me with the Holy Spirit, and that God will help me to build a church in Japan. Okay. See you guys next time. Love you guys.